Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, December 3rd, excuse me, December 12th, 2022. Well, Friday left us with a little bit of uncertainty, and we have, uh, well, the next couple of days, some big uncertainty that we're going to have to deal with here as we move forward. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we kind of settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, what I had mentioned before is Friday left us with that little bit of uncertainty. If you look right in here, we came down and we tested um, some support. We're just sitting right above a kind of a critical level of support here in the chart. Now you can envision if those bears were to find inspiration and we were to break this level in here, that could be a little bit traumatic for the market. I could see us potentially sliding down maybe into some support right in this area. We could, if that doesn't hold, we continue to move down to a stronger level of price support here in the chart. If that were to, um, if that initial place were to break. However, if those bulls are able to find reason to hold here, and I think there'd be a pretty decent opportunity for them to hold this price support. And that would just be simply because there's a, a, a major anticipation that we're going to get a Christmas um, Santa Claus rally in the market. There's been a lot of hype about that this year in the financial press. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's going to be great. Well, maybe. But um, I think what we're up against is trying to decide whether Santa Claus is going to win the day or um, if Jerome Powell's going to end up being the Grinch that stole Christmas with a rate increase and statements on Wednesday. And before that, we have a CPI number coming out that could also create quite a little bit of volatility. Now here in the Dow, we have you know the benefit of having broken through this downtrend resistance and that support in there is going to be pretty critical and you could see if we were to fail in here a push back down into here would be a little bit problematic for the market and on a technical basis you could see that that support level that I'm talking about right down through this area would be a pullback in here that would test the 200 day and that rising 50 day moving average if we were to drop on through there that would be um, technically a good thing to see happen but obviously losing that support area would be um, something that the bulls would not not be very happy with now this becomes even more critical when we start looking at our other indexes if we take a look at our spy you can see right in here on the spy we have this very critical level right here and we're setting right at the edge right at the edge now the bulls have every reason to try and support this waiting for the data tomorrow and wednesday hoping that that data will support that santa claus rally narrative but you can see we also have a critical problem here um, overall in the chart and that is we have yet to break out of this downtrend so that leaves us quite a little bit of range in here we could certainly see a pop or a rally over the course of this week but just push us right back up here into that downtrend um, because we've got a lot of work before we start breaking through that downtrend resistance in the chart so let's take a look here if the bears were to find some reason for inspiration you can see we're kind of just hovering right above this support area if that were to fail through this area notice that we're giving up this upside trend in here and the next level of price support, unfortunately, would be down in this area. That would be a pretty substantial move to the downside. And you could see if that were to occur, quite a little bit of fear would come into the market. Now, if those bulls find inspiration, let's keep an eye on here. If we can bounce off of this level, where do we go? Well, likely right up here 
to test this price resistance level in the chart and if we can push on through that then right up in here where we'll also challenge that big downtrend resistance in the chart so we're going to have a couple levels right in here that could be pretty substantial so let's watch that closely and then let's keep in mind here on the spy uh, a pullback into here um, that fails you could see could easily come back and test that 50-day moving average in the chart not an odd thing to occur now if we take a look at our qqq qqq I think is even more tenuous because we have really struggled here in the NASDAQ and what we saw overnight is we saw um, Hong Kong pull back pretty substantially those tech, the tech heavy sector pulling back and I think it's just that uncertainty as to what comes next here in the market so watching right through here we have a very critical level of price support and you can see we're just hovering right above that on Friday left a little bit of a concerning pattern with a shooting star type uh, pattern now that only matters if we get a follow through to the downside but you can see a break of this level here there's not much left in this chart to provide us a lot of price support a lot of price congestion down in here but maybe we would move down into a level like right in here possibly a little bit lower so watch that closely that's pretty important now if those bears <coughs> excuse me if those bulls find that inspiration then we would look for a retest of this price level right through here and if that breaks then right on up to retest that resistance high and let's keep in mind that's also going to be up here trying to break through the downtrend resistance in the qqq so little bit of work needs to be done here before we can get too excited about this market and then if we look at our russell well unfortunately our russell already gave it up we rallied up here and we attempted to break out of that big downtrend as you can see and ended up placing putting ourselves into a double top situation that failed right along that resistance and unfortunately that support level that we've been watching here in the other indexes has already kind of given up here in IWM so we we'll want to watch that pretty closely if those bears find inspiration and continue to push down well I would look for a little bit there might be a little bit of price support right in here as you can see we're trying to hold right there and if that fails then we're probably looking down in here on IWM for that next level of price support if those bulls find inspiration if they can get this pushed back to the upside going well then we're going to have to watch this resistance and you right in here and you can see we tried this on thursday we pushed up here we pushed up here on wednesday both of those ending in bit of a shooting star type pattern and then following through on friday to the downside not the best of situations here in the iwm and remember IWM can sometimes lead the market and it does make you wonder after breaking that trend and breaking that support if IWM isn't hinting the direction that we may be going here in the near future so watch that close now if we look at our VIX our VIX had a little tiny bit of fear coming in there on Friday but nothing major we do have the concern in here on the VIX that we broke that uh, downtrend, albeit that downtrend was very, very steep and we built quite a bit of complacency into that into that move here in the VIX. We're holding on to a little tiny bit of price support in here and what's going to be critical and I think we're going to find out over the next couple of days. Will this hold a support and we push on up with more fear in the market if we get bad CPI data and, uh, and a rate increase uh, from the FOMC and more caution from the FOMC we'll want to watch that close now if that were to be the opposite the CPI comes in good the Fed uh, is backing off or gives us a warm and fuzzy um, suggesting that they will back off well then that possibility that we could push on back down in here does exist so I think anything is possible here on Tuesday and Wednesday and what I mean by that is I think traders are going to have to be really really careful it's going to be easy to you know get sucked into over trading 
ahead of the these data points and there could be um, a very sudden and substantial moves when these data points come out over the next couple of days so we'll have to watch that closely now if we look at our t2122 our t2122 also leaves us with that little bit of hmm what comes next and i think we're going to see a lot of just choppy hurry up and wait type price action today our pullback here on Friday left us with just that little bit of uncertainty. Are we going to follow through here to the downside and finally complete um, this move into that oversold condition? Now, keeping in mind that oversold condition is a fairly big point move yet before we reach down here in the bottom. But if we can find bullish inspiration today, there's no reason to believe that we can't bounce right in here. We did just a couple of days ago. We could bounce right back up in here um, in anticipation of these data points or if we find something to be inspired by. I would just be really careful in thinking we're going to get a lot of big price moves or to get um, kind of get um, <sighs> that fear of missing out. Um, that over anticipation of what's going to occur, that bias that you might have could really get you in trouble here, uh, pushing you to trade when maybe you should be standing on the sidelines waiting for these data points to reveal direction. Now let's take a look at our T2108. Now when we look at T2108, this was overbought and we talked about that several times. It's a very rare thing. Um, over multiple years here, you can see when we push up into this range, we're, we're really stretched out. And so this rest or pullback really wasn't a big surprise, but the good news in here that we still have to kind of give to those, uh, those bulls right now, they're holding up quite well. That hope of that Santa Claus rally is still hanging in there. We're holding on to that support. So if we can find that bullish inspiration, this pullback may have just opened up that upside opportunity. So watch that close. Now, keeping in mind, we still have lots of levels in here of support, congestion, and price action that could hold us. So even if we pull back a little bit more, I don't know that it's catastrophic at the moment. 56% of the stocks holding above the 40-day moving average, you can't complain about that. Um, uh, with so much uncertainty, um, uh, you know, looking forward. And then if we take a look at our T2107, same thing, T2107 has held up really well. We've got 42, 43% of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. We have good support levels in here. And all we've done is rested or pulled back in here at something that's been certainly needed. We were over baked to the upside and we just needed that little rest. So still got to give this to the bulls. Now I'm going to not even look at T2101 because T2101 right now is acting um, as confused as the rest of the market is. We continue to see volumes lower than average um, over the course of these days. Now Friday picked up a little bit here in the SPY with that, little, with that extra selling, but you can see we've still been suffering from quite a bit of anemic volume here in the market as we just wait. Wait and find out what this date is going to be. And so watch that close. Now if we take a look at our economic calendar today, here's the weight that we're talking about. Today we have almost nothing on this calendar to really be inspired by. We've got six month and three month note option auctions. We've got um, a Fed speaker out there, which is interesting. Um, typically you don't see that in the quiet period of head of the FOMC. So maybe maybe they're speaking, but not about the market. We'll see. And then um, we have um, a three month and a 10 year bond auction to be paying attention to. And now, of course, those can move the market. There's a little bit of sensitivity here on those. Um, as those rates um, certainly have a major effect on the NASDAQ. Now, and let's take a look right here. We've got a treasury statement here this afternoon, unlikely to be of much of any concern. And what I'm kind of pointing out here is today could be 
a day without much inspiration, a lot of hopping and popping around, a lot of hope, a lot of um, anticipation, but not a whole lot to really inspire the market. And then what we're going to be thinking about, everyone's going to be thinking about prior to the market open tomorrow, we're going to get that CPI number. Will it be bullish for us? Will it be bearish for us? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. So keep a close eye on that. And once we get through that, well, it doesn't get any better. We're going to be waiting for the FOMC decision in here. That FOMC decision could be, um, you know, inspiration for the bulls or bears. Right now, Fed Funds futures continue to suggest a 50 basis point increase here on Wednesday. Um, we'll see. Now, he could he could easily say, yeah, we're going to go 50 basis points, but then pivot. We're going to back off and not raise any rates for a while. So even though we get a rate increase, we may get inspired bullishly. Who knows? But watch that closely. Now, keep in mind as we move forward, uh, uh, well, on Wednesday, we still have those import exports and we have petroleum status. And remember, it's probably going to be more about what Powell says than what he does um, here on um, Wednesday. Um, it'll be that conference call that'll likely be the most important. What, where's the sentiment at? And then we look at Thursday. Thursday is a big day. Jobless claims, Philly Fed, retail sales, Empire State, industrial production. Um, we've got business inventories and we've got the natural gas treasury sentiment or statement and the Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. It's going to be a full meal deal on Thursday and all, many of these are market moving. So we don't get a real relax much this week and then on Friday the PMI composite flash so keep that in mind now let's look at our earnings calendar if, if there's a place where we're getting a little bit of a break we're getting a break in our earnings calendar and although there are a number of confirmed reports a lot of them are really not particularly notable uh, for the day. Um, let's take a look though. We do have a couple that I put in the blog this morning that you'll want to be paying attention to. First off, Coop. And both of these, by the way, um, um, are uh, uh, charts that can give us a little bit of inspiration for a short period of time, but not likely to um, override um, these data points coming um, in the economic uh, numbers. Um, but you can see Coop here this morning getting a nice pop on its earnings report, trying to push up nicely here, break that downtrend, certainly worth keeping an eye on. And then after the bell today, we're going to hear from Oracle. That, of course, could be a very important report. Um, for that inspiration of the market uh, Tuesday morning. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that really quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That truly helps the channel to, con to grow. It's the engagement with a video um, that makes the most difference. So thank you everyone uh, for taking the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. And I need to take the time here to also say thank you to everyone who uses that link just below the title of the video and um, supports the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you very, very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very very careful in this market. Um, I would kind of suggest that anticipation over the next couple of days could be a kind of a dangerous thing to do. If we, if we try to predict what's going to happen over the next couple of days, we could see sudden and very substantial price moves in the market based on these data points. So be kind of careful out there. So a couple of uh, places that I think um, I wanna keep an eye on, take a look at T 
TSM. TSM, this is Taiwan Semiconductor, and this has struggled and struggled and struggled this year. But with China maybe relieving some of their restrictions and things like that, we're starting to see this show some improvement and move up. And if you watch right in here, nice little support area in that chart. If we were to pop, up through here that might be something of interest so keep tsm on a list it might be worth watching other places i think that are really um, showing some signs of strength and i think this is the uncertainty that we're seeing in the market that is creating this and that potential recession moving forward um, next year i think what we're seeing is a little bit of a rotation a bit of a move into old boring safety play type stocks take a look here at khc moving up in a trend been breaking through resistance here in that chart now certainly we've got some upside resistance here to think about but khc is looking pretty good and the other thing about these defensive sector stocks is they tend to pay pretty decent dividend yields so i think it's worth keeping an eye on some of these take a look at khc you could look at hershey hershey had tried to pop um thursday pulled back on friday it looks like it's trying to pump a little bit here this morning this is a big breakout here potential in hershey all-time high so again another defensive sector company moving up take a look at altria altria moving up mo breaking through resistance a nice little pullback to test and hold support it may still have a little bit of consolidating to do before it reaches that trend but watch that closely we're seeing a lot of these defensive stocks show pretty good signs like colgate palm olive holding in here holding support another good dividend payer this isn't in the defensive sector area but take a look at at&t a big div dividend payer holding in here showing lots of support um, in that chart so watch some of these charts closely they may prove to be very beneficial in a market that has a lot of uncertainty going in to the year looking forward um, other places that you might look let's take a look at that energy sector now energy certainly has um, uh, faltered here uh, dramatically and as you can see we've broken support levels we've um, rallied back and failed so we're coming into some price support in here let's watch that close let's expect some kind of hold of support or a bounce to occur and if that does occur then what we'd be looking for is that next opportunity maybe to take up that short position here in energy if that continues to show us those signs and the reason is not because of supplies necessarily we're seeing that destruction in oil I think it's the destruction of demand and not just here in the United States, but particularly in China and Europe. Um, as we move toward this, um, I think is going to be a substantial recession. Um, that demand here in energy seems to be pulling back pretty pretty strong so we'll want to watch that closely now other places to continue to look remember we've got to keep a pretty close eye on the dollar the dollar has been bouncing around here in a range a little bit of price support still underneath um, a downtrend here now if that were to continue to move lower that would be um, some support for the upside I think in the market at least in the short term but if we were to spike back up in here for some reason a rate increase for example um, then we we would want to watch that closely uh, because that could have a bit of a harmful effect on the market. And you might want to be taking a look at some of these bond funds. Um, as you guys know, I've been talking about TLT here for quite a while. I'm in TLT. I have a bias in the trade, so keep that in mind. But if you're looking at this chart, my, there was an entry right in here. I've added to this trade a couple of times. We pulled back. I would expect, hopefully, we'll get more of a rest or consolidation in here um, that's what I would like to see for me to add to this trade but for now that's looking good and by the way this is a longer term position for me I'm looking for those bonds to just come back up here somewhere um, in the middle um, now take a look if you could also you may not want to come into here but you could go into BND BND another bond fund starting to show signs of life uh, take a look at tips bonds tips bonds are just trying to come up out of a downtrend here as you can see pushing up trying to hold some 
uh, hold some support in here. I would watch this for that next opportunity here, maybe to enter into some of the tips. So keep an eye on that. Last but not least, I've got to continue to mention gold and silver. As long as the dollar remains weak, gold and silver continue to show nice signs of upside movement. Keep a close eye on those. If we can hold these support levels in here and um, um, see that dollar continue to weaken, then I would expect these um, these precious metals to continue to move on up. So keep an eye on GLD and SLV. They have been looking very strong here recently. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Just be a little bit careful, kind of a hurry up and wait day as we wait for those data points coming Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, so make sure you plan your trading carefully and don't overexpose yourself to the massive risk of what these data points may show us. Wish you all of the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.